I'm Diana Gonzalez. I work at the Nebo School District at the Brookside Elementary School. I've been teaching science and math for the last three years to third and fourth grade students. Every year we take the students to the planetarium and they are really, really excited. And probably the most fun for them is the opportunity for them to travel through space. They can't pay for that. You, you can't go out in space and have that trip. You, you have to go to the planetarium to get that trip. I once read a study that uh, British researchers did on kindergarten students and they tested them and discovered that 97% of these children tested as creative geniuses. They followed those same children 12 years later and tested them periodically and they discovered that the number of creative geniuses declined over time. As seniors in high school, there were only 3% that still had that capacity. So you wonder, where does that vivid imagination go? Where does that limitless possibility and where does that I can do anything thinking happen to just drift away to? And I really don't know, but I think as a teacher, if I can inspire and foster and encourage that kind of thinking and let them know that it's okay and to let life be limitless and every possibility uh, a real option. Coming to the planetarium for this student is a lifetime changing experience. My name is Michelle Egbert and I teach third grade at Sage Creek Elementary and this is my ninth year teaching. I teach language arts and math and science and social studies. We'll do rotations. I teach my own class about the moon and then they'll go to another teacher's class and their class will come to mine and I'll teach them everything and so I've taught all four third grades about the moon and then we would go in the spring to the park planetarium. And usually I start by asking them what they what they know about the moon and then we write those all down and most you know most of the time they've got some things right some things aren't and then someone always says it's made of cheese. So I'm like okay and then I ask them what they'd like to learn about the moon way excited about it and it's kind of interesting to me because I think it's such an abstract thing for them why would they be that excited about it but I think that's why because you know it's not something they can touch feel you know when you're doing some of that stuff on paper like I said it's abstract to them they can't you know we like to use a lot of hands-on stuff well you can't just bring the moon down and like you know do stuff with the moon but they can learn everything they can about it and then when they go there then they're able to you know really it becomes more concrete to them. I'm Courtney Curtis. I teach third grade at Sage Creek Elementary. Uh, I teach the force and motion, gravity, things of that nature. When they got Clark Planetarium Theater and all that stuff, it hit right on with our with our curriculum of the moon. I remember sitting in that theater and, and uh, first of all it was giant and the kids, you know, in the first time that the, the thing came on they were reaching for it because it was just right there in your face. You, uh, you know, they have that ceiling apparatus thing that has all of the different balls going around and that goes right along with my motion and gravity. It talks about, you know, the gravity pulling it, pulling those balls to the, uh, from one place to another, the, the uh, inclined planes taking them down and, and uh, uh, talks about levers. I mean, there was levers. There was there was all kinds of things there, scientific that we had discussed. They were excited. We talked about it all the way home, and even for days afterwards. So, parents can always add more to everybody's educational experiences if they take the time themselves and do that. 